Adventure is in my blood. Finding treasures big or small and having fun is what it's all about. With my wife Melissa and our three kids, life is pretty full. But there isn't a mountain we can't climb together. This isn't your ordinary antique store. My name is Alex Archibald and this is Curiosity Inc. I'm going to make a trip out to the store this morning to have a look and see what different types of tiles there are. Reason for tiles, well, it's a gas fireplace, puts off a lot of heat. I don't want to risk putting wood there that uh, might compromise, I don't know, my insurance or whatever the, the rules or regulations might be for putting gas fireplaces in. Um, I think I can find something a little bit more fun. I think I'll try and make it a statement piece, something that's uh, going to stand out in that room. But first, I'm waiting to pick up uh, Patrick, who's joining me today. He's going to come hang out at the shop. Uh, and so I may as well drag him to Home Depot with me too. I'm hoping to get some ideas for tile. I'm redoing the fireplace upstairs. It just, I started renovating the upstairs and then it looked super boring. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and do something a little bit more exciting, add some pizzazz. Well, I know what tiles I'm never gonna do again. Those ones, they're awful. Um, I wanna see maybe something in a square tile. Okay, I am wanting to do something kind of fun. Something kind of like this, add some color or some pop, but I don't want to do these horrible, crazy hexagons any longer. Those were miserable to put in. What I'm looking for is a square tile. This is what I basically put in the potter's house that some people didn't like, but you know, something like this wouldn't even be too bad. I've been driving around pretty much all morning. I've been on the internet looking. There are a few places that have the type of tile I want, but um, they're in the US and they won't ship to Canada. All over town, I can't find the exact right thing I'm looking for. I want something uh, colorful, interesting, bright, something that's gonna really pop on the fireplace. And everybody's recommending the normal sort of boring, kind of what I already have or putting stone there. And I know that's what everybody else does, but this is our house and we wanna make it something really special and different and unique and maybe something that you haven't really seen before. So I've come to a place now called River City Tile Company. They open in just a few minutes and I'm hoping that this will be the shop that I can find a unique and interesting tile that's gonna work in the house. And I have to say, floor to ceiling was definitely the way to go. It makes the room much more dramatic and it makes it feel much larger. But this fireplace is still bugging me. Now I've been all around looking at tiles and ways to do this and there's no way around it. To do this thing properly, to redo the tiles, and maybe build it up so it looks more impressive, is gonna be hugely expensive. I mean like, it's just gonna be too expensive. The tile alone is gonna be about $4,000 to do what I wanna do. So I think I've got another solution. I uh, just hope Melissa likes it. The folks at the tile shop are really nice, but it's still going to be about eight or $9,000 just for the materials if I wanted to build that fireplace up to the ceiling, which is kind of what I was thinking of doing. Uh, but I have another way to give me that impact that I think is going to cost a whole lot less, and that's with paint. You may know, or you may not know, that ceramic tile can easily be painted. In fact, you can go to classes and paint them for fun. In uh, Mexico and in, in parts of Spain, they paint their tiles with uh, interesting decorations. In this case, I want to do sort of a statement piece, a statement wall, where it's um, a single color, so it's very simple, and then we'll find something to do on top. So I am first going to make sure that this surface is prepped and ready. Uh, this is not a high gloss, thankfully. If it's high gloss, you have to sand it down. In this case, uh, I'm gonna basically just wash it really good, make sure it will accept the paint. I've bought this primer, which is a bare all-in-one, and you can see sticks to glossy surfaces, uh, quick recoat time. This is the type of stuff you wanna use if you're going on a gloss paint or gloss surface. That will work 
on tile. And I'm gonna basically prime all this and get ready to do a completely different paint job on the tile and uh, on the wall and hopefully give us a completely different look. Okay, that's the last of it. I've got all the tile cleaned up and the floor surface clean. Now I can start to get some primer on there. Before I paint, I've got some tape on the walls there so I don't get over on my nice fresh paint. Primer time. And you watching at home might be thinking, oh no, don't paint it, it's ceramic tile, it's gonna ruin it. Well, there's lots of painted fireplaces out there with wood surrounds. It's a common thing, it's a common look. We had tile, you could do tile, stone, uh, painted wood, all sorts of different types. I'm gonna paint this tile because I'm sick of it. It's got kind of a pinky hue. Honestly, it reminds me of a bad 1980s bathroom. <laughs> and it's gotta go, so it's getting painted out today. Primer is on, gotta wait for that to dry. This is no longer 1980s looking tile, it's just white which really is already an improvement, but I think once I get the color on there, it's gonna look remarkable. Next up, I'm gonna tape on either side of the fireplace and try and create sort of a pocketed detail up top. You'll have to see what it looks like, but for now, I'm gonna do some measuring to make sure I make a perfectly straight line. Okay, I've got my pattern taped off on the fireplace. The goal here is to try and make it look extra tall without actually having to spend all the money of doing the construction. I'm gonna do that with a little bit of magic and paint, a little sparkle in my eye, and probably a little corn or something in my teeth, but all that magic is gonna make this thing come together. Um... I have chosen is actually called magnet and I guess it's kind of because it looks like a you know you would imagine a magnet to be I'm going around and I am filling in all the little cracks of the tile first I've got two coats of primer on here so it's on there real good uh, I went with a satin gloss finish so it's not gonna be eggshell like you do your walls it's gonna have a little bit of a sheen to it and uh, I'm gonna go around, do all the little cracks and corners so that I can put a roller over top of this, a little roller, and it'll look nice and even. Well, pretty much just looks like a big checkerboard right now. <laughs> uh, but the fun part's gonna begin right away. I'm gonna let that dry, and then I get to roll. Let the good times roll. Nah, too punny. Yeah, I'm gonna say it. Let the good times roll. place is painted and it's definitely more dramatic than it was before. I decided to paint it basically all the one gray and continue the lines all the way up to give it that feel like it's a big single piece fireplace even though if I look up you can see the wall goes in because it's an angle but what that lets me do is still put the mirror on top which some of you like and some of you don't but Melissa and I don't mind it so we're keeping it. I think it looks good with the gray. All in all I think I'm gonna step away from that for a little bit. Down the road, we'll probably do new tile and something a little bit different with it, but for the time being, that gives more of a dramatic look to the room. And, well, heck, it was a cheap fix. It was like a $70 fix. That's about all I can do this week. I still have to wait for the new furniture to arrive. I think that the ship model looks Pretty cool. Uh, the gray fireplace is a contrast and I think it will go well with the uh, the woods, the creams, and the leather colors that we've got up here. It's definitely different and um, you know I, I wanted to have that feeling of it going all the way up to the ceiling 
But the problem was if I walled it in, it would decrease the, the uh, space and the square footage in the room. So we didn't want to make it feel claustrophobic up here. Uh, but thank you so much for watching this week's episode. Make sure to tune in to the final episode, which will probably be in about a week's time uh, after I get the furniture in. Uh, and Josh is working on a table for me. I don't know if that'll be done in time or not. He's got something really cool planned. Uh, hopefully he does a video on his channel about that too. But thanks for watching guys. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you all soon. Bye for now.